Hello beautiful souls, it's Tasha back for another YouTube video. Um, before I get started, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good juice. Um, it's freaking getting cold in Indiana and yeah, I ain't happy about that. Also, before I get started, peep these standalone sweatpants. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. I guess I am an ambassador through them. Um, use code TOSH15, TOSH, T-O-S-H-15. I'm working in the description box for a 15% discount code. Um, I wear their stuff every freaking day. They have new drops almost weekly. They just released these with the camo pair of joggers as well, like two weeks ago. They released a camo hoodie last week that I also bought, and then they released a cropped black camo hoodie with hot pink writing um, last night. So pick yourself up some. They're super soft, super comfy, super affordable workout clothing, um, amazing clothing, not to mention they're owned by um a retired veteran so yeah check them out on instagram standalone apparel get yourself some um so yeah i've been sick for like the last week i don't know i'm pretty sure it's just like a virus um that just had to run its course because i kind of do feel better today but i ran a fever for like the last three days i still worked out i know like Sasha, what are you thinking i should have rested but you know me like i just i can't like too high strung i just can't can't sit still even when I'm freaking sick. That is one thing that drives me absolutely crazy. But that being said, um, today I just, I am feeling better. Like my throat doesn't hurt as bad. I don't think I'm running a fever today, but I just feel really weak today. Like my body just feels tired. So today was leg day and I really have been trying to push my workouts with like my hamstrings because my quads have put some size on them. Um, I'm in bulk mode, but I think I leaned out a lot the last few days and I think just because I didn't have much of an appetite because my throat was so dang sore. But anyways, um, on to the next thing. So today my hamstrings were so sore after my last leg day a few days ago and I literally couldn't walk up and down the stairs and they're still super tight today. So I just figured with my body feeling weak, um, I did want to take a rest day, but I just wasn't gonna push my body too hard today. I just did a resistance band workout um, for lower body. With that being said, you can do such an amazing workout with resistance bands. Like I haven't used them in a while. Like I do incorporate them in workouts or warm up, but I haven't done a legit workout with them in a while. And it's just because I prefer, like I started off with just resistance bands for probably the first year or two of my workout journey. I really didn't use weights. Um, resistance bands are a good way to get toned up to even incorporate with weights to just give that extra tension. You can just do so many great things with them, get creative, um, wrap them around your stairs or whatever. And there's so many different levels of resistance bands. They have the long ones with the handles or they have the smaller ones or they have the extra long ones. Um, you can get them anywhere, Walmart, Amazon, Dollar, Dollar General. I even saw some at Dollar Tree one day. I don't know how well those ones work. I always order mine off of Amazon or get them at Walmart. Um, you will see me use this one. This isn't like a freaking hard one because it doesn't stretch very well. And I want to say it's like an extra heavy. I would try and link it down below. I got this one off Amazon for like 10 bucks because I was tired of snapping my rubber ones, which the rubber ones do last me for a little while, but they do get worn out and then they end up snapping. Um, they do last for a while. This one doesn't get stretched out like the rubber ones and it's not gonna snap, but it is harder to use. So you'll notice that I did use this for some workouts um, in this video and then some of the other workouts I used the rubber one um, just because this one is so stiff and it's hard to move the real bummer. I was filming and my phone store was all up, so my video cut out halfway in. But anyways, what I was saying was um, I did use the rubber red wall bands. It's a heavy band. Um, it's more stretched out and this one, the green one, is way more hard to use. So some exercise movements I couldn't use this one in. Um, they have all different kinds of workout resistance bands. You can literally get them anywhere, like pretty much anywhere. They're pretty, they're very affordable. Um, you can even get the bundle of all the different sizes just in case you need to move up or maybe you need some for some workout, some for another. Whatever, just get yourself some. They're very inexpensive. Um, and I'm trying to link this one down below. Uh, but resistance band workouts are amazing. Um, I incorporate them 
quite often for whether it's a warm up. I don't usually do typically a full workout with resistance bands anymore, like I was saying, but I do incorporate them a lot for like a warm up or just for extra tension in my workouts. So yeah, um, here is my workout that I did today. I strictly pretty much did, just did resistance bands because like I said, I'm not feeling very well still. Um, and I just started, I'm not sure if this is gonna be in there twice, so I apologize, I'm gonna try to edit it out if I did say it twice, but I don't know where it cut off at before. But I started off with like a 15 minute jog warm up, and then did a resistance band workout, and then ended it with a five minute cool down um, jog, and rolled my muscles out, because like I said, my hamstrings are so freaking tight, so tight. So, um, yeah, let's get into the video. I'm gonna stop jabbering, and I hope you guys enjoy this video.
For this one, I'm gonna do a voiceover because it's just kind of hard to explain, but you're gonna do a leg curl. You're gonna lay flat on the ground. You're gonna wrap the resistance band around one foot and then use the other one to pull up and then you're gonna alternate back and forth. 